Welcome back to our Italian road trip. We're leaving Tuscany now. Today is going to be a long driving day. We're going five and a half hours down to below Naples to Torre Annunziata. And does that mountain look familiar? It is Vesuvius and we are going to actually climb Vesuvius on the day that we go to Pompeii. But first what we're going to do is we're going to settle into Torre Annunziata. Now this is one of the towns near Naples, right at the foot of Vesuvius. And as you can tell, it's very congested. Uh, there are a lot of people in a very small area. Since I had to drive the SUV this time, it's much bigger and there's really not good parking. So we parked in a parking garage down the street. I wanted to show you a little bit of our room. As you can see there, it's very modern looking. That is not typical of um, Italian Airbnbs. We've stayed in, a lot of them have more of an Italian feel, but uh, this one was really nice. And it's funny because you look out the window and you see the buildings, and I'll just tell you that looks can be deceiving. There's some really beautiful Airbnbs right in the area. And if you've traveled in Europe at all, you'll realize that icons are everywhere, absolutely everywhere. You will see them on the corner, on top of roofs, and this is our walk. To Capri. Well, we're headed to the train station in Capri. We thought we'd show you a little bit of the streets getting there. Lots of vehicles driving on it today. We chose this area to stay because we are always in sight of Vesuvius. We are centrally located in between Naples and Amalfi, and we can take the train everywhere. So we walked a little less than a mile to the train station. It was a quick walk, and we got our tickets. Here you can see a little bit of the train station. We are headed to Naples because we are going to take a ferry from Naples to Capri. Now the Circumvesuviana train line is not the most modern of train lines as you can kind of see from here, but it is good and economical travel option. We used Google Maps and it told us where to go and what line to get on to get to Naples. And right there you see that gentleman standing by the tracks. Whenever the bell would sound, he would put the levers down so that cars would not cross the tracks anymore. So we thought that felt like a little bit of a step into the past right there. So we got onto the train and now we're headed to Naples. I don't like to drive in Naples because I accidentally did one time when we were trying to get to Capri the first time. Spoiler alert, we didn't make it to Capri that time. So I would definitely recommend taking the train in and definitely cheaper parking for sure. And who doesn't like a nice train ride beside the coast? Once we got to the hub in Naples, then we took a walk down several escalators, which was really cool. We got to the metro station and the metro we needed to take to the port. If you've seen some of our other videos, you'll realize that we like to take the metro when we can because it's not, um, it doesn't matter how busy the streets are, whereas with buses, timetables are often missed because, you know, streets are just busy. So once we got on the metro, it's just a few stops and we were getting off at the port, just much easier than walking it. And when you get off the port, you see this medieval castle, Castle Nuova. And right across the street from there is of course a McDonald's. Check out our shorts to see the best dressed McDonald's worker we have ever seen. So as you cross the street, you will see the place where the ferry comes in. We are going in February, so the ferry was not very busy. And um, honestly, Capri is probably not the best place to go so early in the spring because pretty much everything is closed. But we didn't make it last time, so we really wanted to make it there today. Right here is also the same port that the cruise ships will come into. So if you take a cruise like we did, you will come into this port and you can just walk off the cruise ship and straight into Naples. You don't even need to book an excursion. So we really liked that. You know the saying, sometimes it's more about the journey than the destination. Well, that's the case in our trip to Amalfi and Capri. Um, that's why this is a travel guide, not a walking tour, because a lot of things were closed. But it was so beautiful, like right there, we just took a boat past Vesuvius. How many people get to say that they did that? Looking up from where the ferry docks, you can see the road that we're going to be traveling on in a little bit. We are headed to the chairlift. We had the choice between the chairlift and the blue grotto because we didn't have enough time to do both that day and just so you know the chairlift takes you to the highest point which is Anna Capri 
And the Blue Grotto is a cave where you go into on a little boat and you can see the bright blue water. We wanted to go see that too, but we just didn't have time to do both because each one takes some travel time. Here is a really cool map that they have on tiles. A lot of their signs are on tiles as well, which is such an authentic Italian feel. So first thing we did was we went and we got tickets um, and we got tickets to take this tiny little bus that's right off the pier. Very easy to find. It might take a little while standing in line waiting for the bus because at least when we were there, they probably had two buses running, one going up, one coming down. Now, during the high season, perhaps they have more buses going. But as you'll see, there's a tiny little roadway. And this might seem like a tiny bus, but considering the roadway was about a little bit over the width of this bus, it was definitely very interesting. So we um, all crammed into this bus, which was standing room only, and we started up on our journey. As we went around the corner, the bus driver would honk his horn and um, they definitely drive a little differently over there than we do here for sure. And I thought I'd just include a little bit of a view down the side of how close we got to the other vehicles. Sometimes I thought there's no way we didn't scrape, but we didn't. Once we got to the final bus stop, there was a shopping walk. Um, which would have been bustling, I'm sure, in the summer. Again, it wasn't when we were there, but we started walking just a short distance to the chairlift. My grandpa got to go on this chairlift when he was in the Navy on Capri, so I really wanted to go there and see it. He was there in the 1950s, not long after the chairlift was actually made, so I would have loved to go on it. Sad news is they actually were refurbishing it while we were there. And we didn't know that before we got there. It makes sense, it was off season, so it was the perfect time to do it without the crowds, but we weren't able to go up the mountain to the highest point, Anna Capri, and see the beautiful view. So we were really disappointed about that. But it looks like it would have been an amazing experience. Also, if you get the chance to go, it's about 15 euro for a round trip ticket to the top and back. Even though we were disappointed about the chairlift, we didn't want to waste the day. So we had a chance to walk on some of the beautiful little paths. We actually walked by one of the graveyards, which I wasn't really expecting such a large graveyard on an island like Capri, but that was a really cool experience to see. If you look back through our YouTube shorts, you'll see our reviews on Italian graveyards and on Italian verses. On our way back to the bus stop, we passed Villa San Michele, which is a place that you would definitely want to visit if it was open. I heard they do tours there, they have events, and they have a restaurant. All of the views from up where we were walking were gorgeous, out over the water. Definitely a must-see, and I thought this was funny. We were waiting for our bus, and we saw this gentleman transport his hamster home on his scooter. Italians are very resourceful. So now we are waiting to get back on our bus. I think our uh, bus driver was having a bit of a break. So finally, when we got back on, we got to go down. Remember how I showed you at the beginning? We looked up at the road and I said, that's what we're going to be traveling on. Well, here's the view from way up high. And now we are going to spend a little bit of time in the harbor while we wait for our ferry. And we're going to head back over to Naples. We're going to retrace our steps back to our Airbnb because tomorrow we're going to the Amalfi Coast. And since we don't have a whole bunch of footage on Amalfi Coast, I'm just going to add that on to the end here. We took a train from Torre Annunziata the whole way to Sorrento. Again, we were visiting during off season, so most of this trip was just about being able to travel there and see the area. One thing I really liked in Sorrento was they had fruit trees along the streets. I thought that was a great idea. We found a place to sit and have some lunch and then we took a walk down the main square and we wanted to see the coast. So we went down along to the coast. Normally when we're traveling, we are trying to cram as many things into the day as we possibly can. So this was kind of fun. Amalfi was more of an experience. Enjoying the journey, walking and looking. They have a lift that takes you down to the sand if you want to go to the beach, but we weren't having a beach day because it was really cold outside. So we just wanted to look at the beautiful views and be able to check out Sorrento. 
Next, we walk to the bus, very easy to find, and it is the one bus that will take us to Positano. We had hoped to go the whole way to Salerno, but that's just not gonna happen today because of the late hour. Most of the experience we were looking for on this portion of our journey was to enjoy the beauty of the cliff roads that took us to Positano. The bus ride was a little bit long, and yes, we could have taken a train, from our Airbnb directly to Positano and it would have been faster, but look at these cliffs. It was amazing. And part of the experience of Amalfi Coast is being able to say that you experienced the cliff roads. And the other part of the Amalfi Coast that we were looking forward to was seeing the houses on the cliffs. And that did not disappoint. We got to Positano and started our walk down to the base. We wanted to get down to the beach that you see here and it seems like it would be pretty easy to walk down the steps but I gotta tell you there are a lot of steps I think my kids would say there are about a million and if you have anybody in your group who has any mobility issues whatsoever this is definitely not the thing that they should be doing because there are a lot of uneven steps and it is definitely a workout to get back up my brother actually stumbled and turned his ankle wrong so he was not able to go down to the beach with us but once we got down to the beach, we were able to wave back up at him and Cassidy and spot them amongst all of the houses right there. And here's the million dollar view that we were looking for that was worth the journey. Just as a side point, if you're looking for a great beach to sun on in the summertime, I don't know that I would choose this one because the sand was more like gravel, but it was a beautiful view. Make sure you give yourself plenty of time to walk up all of those steps back to the bus and make sure you're watching the bus schedule because it will not wait for you and there's often a very large line of people that are ready to go back. Also, buy your ticket beforehand because this particular bus anyway did not take um, cash on the bus. It was standing room only and we were all definitely crammed in there on our trip the whole way back. We're going to end our time in Amalfi looking out over the beautiful lights as the sun goes down. It was really a beautiful day and the journey was amazing. So now we are headed back to our Airbnb and tomorrow we are going to go to Pompeii, Herculaneum, and Vesuvius. You do not want to miss that day of the trip. See you there. Ciao.